Hi folks, this is Nikron Prof. Let me introduce you our new digital angle finder, Execute One. Execute One has been designed not only for knife sharpening, but for construction and domestic purposes. The Execute sensor measures data in three axes at the same time, and due to this, it correctly measures deviations and shows the angle of the surface we are working with. Let me show you a part of the video which explains that better. Now, to measure the sharpening angle, a protractor and an inclinometer are used. As an example, let's take a look at a measurement made with a basic protractor. It will measure the angle between its two positions in a certain plane. However, if the angle finder is not parallel to the plane when it's measuring, it will show incorrect data. Now, let's take a look at an inclinometer measurement. Unlike the protractor, the inclinometer measures the angle with the horizontal plane, but does not rely on an orthogonal plane, so it will measure the angle accurately at any position, since the angle with the horizontal plane never changes. So, how does the choice of a measuring device affect sharpening? Now let's have a look at how it works in practice. We've clamped a straight plate in the jaws. Now let's take a regular angle finder and zero it. Then put it onto the rod and here it shows the sharpening angle, but if we move the holder to the left or to the right, the sharpening angle changes. As you can see here we have 17 degrees, 17.5 here, but the plate is totally straight and the angle of the plate is the same along its entire length. Now let's take Execute 1, place it on the platform, zero it and put it onto the road. Now it shows 17.5, let's move it a little bit, 17.50 17.52. So, as you can see, it shows the right angle along the entire length of the cutting edge. For convenience and work, Execute One has new medium magnets on three sides. It measures the angle relative to the lower posterior plane. The magnets on the sideways are designed to work with cadet sharpener. A little bit of characteristics. The measurement's resolution on display is 100 degrees. The maximum deviation when measuring is 500 of degrees. At the same time, any updates in measurements are displayed immediately, even if it slightly touches the cutting edge. It is charged with micro USB connector. The cable for charging comes with the kit. Full charge takes 3 hours. One charge allows you to work up to 24 hours of constant operation at room temperature. Its size and weight is the one of the biggest advantages, uh, which allows you to use it on any equipment. Its weight is just 60 grams, which is about 1.3 pounds. Let's consider the modes of operation. To turn it on, we push the left button and it shows us its charge and the last mode of operation. To change the operation mode, we need to push both buttons at the same time. The first mode, P1, works as an inclinometer, which shows the deviation relative to the horizon. Now the deviation of the table is 1 degree relative to the horizon. The second mode, P2, it is designed for cadet and blitz tools. How does that work? If it's cadet pro, after you've clamped a knife and a stone, put Execute 1 onto the stone holder and zero it. Then place it on the angle cube platform and set the sharpening angle. If we need to keep an eye on the angle during the sharpening process, we zero it here on the platform and then put it onto the stone holder. And it doesn't matter what position it is, it will show the right angle anyway. If you own the previous version of CADET, 
there is no such platform like Cadet Pro has. So you will need to zero execute on the road, then place it on the rotation unit, and then set the angle. To keep an eye on the angle when sharpening with zero execute on the same plane, and then place it on the road. When turning it off, it memorizes the mode of operation used last time and its adjustment, and you will need to zero it once again. After power off takes place after 5 minutes. Now let's see how it works with Blitz Pro. First of all, you have to have an angle final platform, which originally doesn't come with standard sharpening kit, so you will need to get that additionally. After we clamp the knife and stone, we put execute on the stone holder and zero it. After that, place it on the angle final platform and set the sharpening angle and lock the lifting unit. If you want to see the angle during sharpening, we need to zero execute on this platform and place it vertically on the stone holder. The third mode P3 is designed to work with K3 and other K sharpeners. Put execute on the angle final platform, zero it, and place on the road. Set the sharpening angle and fix it. So you see at once the angle on the entire line of the cutting edge. The fourth mode before is mode of regular angle finer, which shows the difference between two planes. For example, using this mode, you can set the slope of the miter saw. In this mode, there's just one sign used after the comma, and measurement is made from 0 to 180 degrees. For example, if we zero on one plane and place it on another, so we can see the difference 24 degrees. Execute 1 is about to be delivered in states. So go ahead and send us a message and reserve it right now or wait until it's available on the website. Anyway, we will let you know about its arrival by email. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Uh, put your likes below. Don't hesitate to leave your comments. Subscribe to us to never miss our new stuff. Take care and stay sharp. Thank you.